Yo, what's up? My name is Tiki Tani from Aotearoa, New Zealand. I'm a musician and produce music. The concept for, for what we're trying to do is like, imagine if we were colonised by the Spanish. If we had a choice, not saying that we're not we're unhappy with being colonised by the English, we're just saying let's explore the other option of being colonised by <laughs> the Spanish. And so I guess it's a bit of a tongue in cheek, we just want a, an excuse for us to go to Spain really and hang out and um, take our art and our music over to Spain and, and say hi, how's it going, you know what I mean, and film the whole journey of it as well. First place I tattooed out of New Zealand um, was Spain. The first place that really responded to my art and film was Spain. They know what it's like to be in isolation too. We share this, this is a common scene. Through the Franco years, they missed out on Motown, Elvis, Woodstock and everything. They didn't have any of that. There was no cultural exchange. So they know what it's like to be embargoed out of, out of the picture. Yeah, I love this. This is Auckland hip hop history on here. I love it. Since all the taggers, the majority of them are brown kids. We put a bit of our brown pride on the wall. Basically, if we had done pictures of um, Captain Cook and all his posse, it would have got wrecked, you know, within hours. But when we put the different cultures on represented on the wall, then everyone feels like they're a part of it. Ollie, awesome. Love Ollie, he's awesome. Um, got to know him pretty well. What's so interesting about words is that in English, again, it's their whole... See, I've been colonialised in the brain from an English perspective. So I'm interested to see if and what reaction it would be to my type of spoken word poetry. I like to be a little bit funny and, and tease and be a bit cheeky in my work like that. But I think with this, it's the collective. Like, I've never worked with this particular group, all of them at once. That is going to be exciting because they are really exciting people. I think I'm the most boring one of the group. For me, making these artworks and, and having these feelings and wanting them to get them out is the same feeling as when you fall in love and that I'm really just absolutely in love with what I do. And it, I think if you have this honest, open channel of love flowing, communication flowing with, with nature, world around you, I think it looks after you in kind. I'm hoping that my art is a way of making that easy for people to, to come to terms with, that they can see it, hear it, feel it, and maybe they can see, watch the polystyrene dancing. Yeah, it, it's really just the love. I know it sounds a bit cosmic, but I don't really know any other way to explain it. Woodcow tree is a coastal tree. It can live on really amazing rocky outcrops. It's bespoke to New Zealand. At summer, usually just before Christmas, it will flower and it goes into this brilliant crimson. So if those guys say that this tree is 500 years old, there's no reason on earth why it can't be. What it does say is that for half a millennia, we have had contact with another bunch of people that's never been acknowledged. By us taking our arts to colonise Spain, artistically, what I've found is that the further I've taken our culture and the further I've taken our art, it has been appreciated more. Very much in the same way as this tree has now become the emblem of the city because it is so rare and exotic. I think it's wonderful that there is a living thing that we are tracing. I think that's a beautiful scenario as well.